You make this rather snappy, won't you? I have some very heavy thinking to do before 10 o'clock. I'm Mike Brassfield. I'm a writer for The Penny Hoarder. And today we are taste testing cheap gas station coffee. We're going to go to 10 or 12 different gas stations from 10 or 12 different gas station chains. And we're going to sample their coffee. And we're going to judge it based on three criteria. Price, the number of options available to us, and taste. Speaking of someone who drives a lot, gas station coffee is very important to me. It is sacred. I'm a little worried that I'm going to like all the coffee and have trouble ranking it. But we'll see how that goes. Ooh, hot. I'm a scientist. Is it entirely fair to judge an entire national gas station chain based on this one experience? It's a little tasteless. It's thoroughly average. No, it's not fair at all. But no one ever said life is fair. There's no coffee at this Sonico. None whatsoever. I'll have to try a different Sonico. I was most surprised by how hard it was to find coffee at certain gas station chains. I look really handsome in this shop. When we were looking for cheap coffee, we had to go to three different Sonicos, two Chevrons, and two BPs before we could actually find coffee. We're at a Chevron station. Not very fancy. The lid doesn't fit the cup. Because I didn't like all the coffee, I found it easier to rank the coffee. And here's our rankings. Number 10 was BP. The coffee was so old it had a learner's permit. This coffee's bad. I couldn't even get the powdered creamer to mix into it. It was so sludgy. It was basically sludge. Really bad. Oh, man. Number nine was Chevron. We had to hit two different Chevrons to uh, get a little coffee. And they gave me a styrofoam cup with a plastic lid that doesn't fit. Kind of a pet peeve of mine. The lid should fit. Ugh, it's burnt and doesn't taste good. Ugh. Number eight was Sonico. It was surprisingly good coffee, at least according to my notes. But we had to go to three stations. Number seven was Exxon. Exxon, there was a single pot on a single burner, and it was empty. The person working made me a fresh pot which was nice. It took five minutes, so I had to wait. But it was piping hot, so that helped. Kind of average coffee, but really hot. Number six was 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven was our biggest disappointment. Okay, they have a lot of options, a million options. All kinds of coffee, all kinds of creamers, all kinds of mix-ins, mini marshmallows. They got everything, but the coffee was lukewarm. Piping hot coffee is awesome. Ice cold coffee is awesome. Room temperature coffee tastes like despair. It tastes like regret. Mm -hmm. This is the best one. I'm keeping this one. The number one coffee was Wawa. Wawa is a regional chain that's on the East Coast. If you don't have a Wawa, if you're ever visiting the East Coast, I'd recommend gassing up at Wawa just for the coffee. If it's later in the day, later in the afternoon, or even afternoon, you want to go to a larger station because they're more likely to have fresh coffee. If you go to a small gas station later in the day, you're much more likely to get old, bad, stale coffee. At a gas station, you can easily spend less than two bucks. But the thing is, we still want to drink good coffee. Life is too short to drink bad coffee. That's why we did this. Do you agree with my rankings? Do you disagree with my rankings? Do you disagree with my rankings a lot? That's fine. Let us know in the comments. I am very tired. I need a cup of coffee. I should get time and a half for this. This is tough. This is tough duty.